In this episode of Retro Gamer Nation, we take a look at a new game release for the Nintendo Entertainment System called Micro Majors, developed by Morphed Games. Micro Majors is an upward vertical scrolling platform game that sees you take on the role of a mage who has just teleported himself across to the old demon fortress in order to save the princess from her evil captor. The fortress is the home of great treasure, ghastly creatures and deadly traps and you have to battle your way up its towers and battle evil bosses lurking at the top in order to complete your objective. There are four towers that you will have to overcome. The first being the Haunted Dungeon, an old lost tower where prisoners die in silence. Followed by Valhalla Tower, where goblins can be found building a tower that leads to Valhalla. And then the Jungle Temple, which is built inside a dormant volcano and is ruled by the Prince of Darkness himself. The fourth and final tower is the somewhat mysterious headquarters of the evil force that has entrapped your princess. The gaming experience on offer with Micro Majors is pure joy from the start, and it immediately sinks its hooks into you. The main mechanics within the game is shooting magic spells at enemies and using wall jumps to climb to the top of each tower. The wall jump action is quite easy to pull off as the game controls are responsive and you feel like you have good control of your character at all times. Micro Mages offers a good number of enemies throughout the game, ensuring that the game never feels dull. Initially, the enemies will only need one hit to eliminate but as you progress to later towers, you'll find that they will require multiple hits. To assist you with the princess saving task, you can shoot open crates and treasure chests to find fairies that give you one hit shields, or a seagull feather that allows you to hover in the air a bit longer when you're jumping. You start off the game with three lives. Killing enemies and collecting jewels will allow you to accumulate points, with an extra life being awarded for every 16,000 points you collect. Micro Majors features mid-level checkpoints which are really handy as each level is somewhat long, and having to restart them when you die from the beginning would detract from the game substantially. The game also features a password level system to allow you to continue your game from the last completed tower. When you reach the top of each of the towers, then it's boss battle time. While not being easy to defeat, none of them are necessarily too difficult to overcome once you understand the attack patterns. I think the difficulty balance is spot on. In fact, the difficulty balance throughout the whole game is perfect in my view. Micro Majors allows for up to four player action. The multiplayer mode has been implemented very well. As long as at least one player is alive, you won't lose a life. Dead players turn into ghosts and have the ability to help their comrades by freezing enemies. They can also destroy crates and treasure chests in the hope of finding a fairy or magic seagull feather that will bring them back to life. Once you have completed all four towers, you are then given the opportunity to go through the game again but at a harder level.
The overall production values on Micromages is very high. The graphics look great. They are vibrant, detailed, and everything moves so well. The soundtrack on offer is of quality and fits the game perfectly. The level design has been well thought out to provide an engaging challenge that is both balanced and interesting for the whole of the game. It really is a well produced game. Originally made available via Kickstarter campaign last year, Micromages is now available as a digital download via itch.io and Steam. While the physical edition of the games will become available again in July 2019 from Broke Studio. Micromages is a great platform game and I would easily recommend it to anyone who is a fan of the NES system or platform games in general.